Do you think you can handle this much cuteness? Well, today we're gonna to talk about your first day home with your new puppy. And I've got this adorable little eight week old puppy named Levi. We're gonna to talk to instructor Kim, who is one of our head instructors of our Head Start for Puppies program. And she's just brought Levi home just a couple of days ago. And we're gonna to talk to her about her first couple of days home with this adorable four-legged family member. I'm Ken Steep, and welcome back to McCann Dogs. So Levi isn't actually my puppy. Uh, Levi belongs to Instructor Kim. He is uh, an eight-week-old Border Collie and she just brought him home the other day. Now, Instructor Kim is one of our head instructors for our Head Start for Puppies program. So she knows a thing or two about puppy behavior and puppy training. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to help you guys in our YouTube audience to learn a little bit about what a professional dog trainer would do when preparing to bring a puppy home. Now Kim, you have uh, another Border Collie at home, uh, Charlie, and it's been a while since you had a puppy, so what did you have to get to prepare for bringing little Levi home? Yeah, it's uh, actually been about nine years, Ken, <laughs> since I've had a puppy, so uh, I didn't have a lot of my regular stuff at home. For example, I had to uh, purchase a small uh, collar that would fit the puppy. Um, I was lucky enough, I found two um, uh, 21 inch crates that um, I can use on, they're berry kennels, the plastic um, crates on Yeah, that's perfect. On, uh, you, that's okay. Kijiji. Yeah. Um, so I found those at a great price and I, I already had them so I had one for my house and then one for the car um, and they both have uh, blankets inside. I bought some um, chewy bones, ones that are appropriate for a puppy of this age, so the softer, um, less opaque ones that they, Nyla Bone makes, um, that was just a brand name. But yeah, I, they're I, great bones and puppies love them. Yeah, they're, they're really good and uh, they have a flavoring to them, so they're kind of enticing. Um, I also bought a bag of our um, the food that I want to transition him over to. So when I picked him up, the breeder provided a small bag of what she had been feeding him. And um, just because I have great success with the product that I'm using on my older dog, I want to stick with that that uh, name brand and um, use the puppy version. So I bought a small bag of that so I, I can transition slowly. You never yeah. want to just introduce new food to a puppy right away because that'll upset their their uh, sensitive stomachs. Yeah, yeah. Bringing a new puppy home can be stressful for, for both the puppy and for the puppy owner. So talk a little bit about how you prepared for that. You know, the first night, for example, that uh, little Levi came home. Yeah. Um, so the night before, um, I made sure I, I got done some of my housework that I wanted to do, my laundry, um, just sort of organized everything so everything was set up and ready to go and I went to bed early. <laughs> yeah, that's really important and don't overlook that, you know, having all, the, all of those uh, chores and things done ahead of bringing the puppy home because I'm sure when the puppy comes home for those first days, uh, you're really busy. Yeah, there's a lot, to, a lot to think about. I mean, puppies require constant supervision. Yeah. So whenever the puppy is not in his crate, I'm always there um, within, you know, eyes, eyes distance away yeah. from him, literally, sure. um, so that I can make sure that he doesn't get into anything he shouldn't and keep him safe. Now, it's likely that your puppy's going to have an accident in the house, um, whether you're supervising them or not. Sometimes they just, they've got to go. Uh, their bladders are small, you know, they haven't learned to hold it since they've come home from the litter. So, you know, talk, tell us a little bit, you mentioned uh, that he had an accident before you came to the hall here. So tell us a little bit about how you manage uh, that, that situation and what to do if your puppy does have an accident in the house. Yeah, it's, uh, it was funny, Ken, because I knew that I should have been supervising him and I, I made the, the mistake of supervising him by knowing where he was, not actually seeing him, sure. and that's the opportune time when accidents do happen. And of it, course, it can happen to anyone. Absolutely, yeah. and it's um, generally when you have to be somewhere, which is <laughs> the know. case for tonight. Yeah, exactly. Um, so for the most part, I'm, as I mentioned earlier, I am always supervising. I'm always watching him, but I also keep him on a very tight schedule. Um, so as soon as he comes out of his crate. We get our leash on, we go outside. Um, I live in a condo, so I'm lucky that I'm on the first floor and I'm close to an exit door, but I still make sure that I, I take him outside right away as soon as he comes out of his crate. And um, I, you know, I try and get him a chance to do everything that he needs to do while he's out there. So if he gets a little bit distracted, we'll um, you know, try and take him to a new place and, and go again. If he doesn't go, if, he, if there's nothing that he's done, then I would put him right back into his crate 
and uh, try them again in you know maybe a few five or so minutes and and take them back out again sometimes the world can be a little bit distracting for these little guys who who haven't seen a whole lot from for sure. where they were now being a professional dog trainer some of our viewers might think that uh, the training starts as soon as the puppy gets home but we know that's not really the case so tell us what you do for the first day and the first couple of days that Levi comes home it's uh, extremely stressful for a puppy. If you can imagine, they um, have just spent the last eight or so weeks with their litter mates um, and uh, in their home environment. That's the first place that they've ever known, and they get taken away from their litter mates and brought to a strange environment where there could be a wide variety of, of things that are kind of frightening for them. Yeah. Uh, potentially other, other, other dogs or other animals, cats, I have cats at home. Um, just even the sounds of a house could be different than what, they're, what, what they were used to in their um, uh, kennel environment perhaps. So I really take the time to allow him just to adjust to his surroundings, to investigate and um, check things out, but in a safe way. So he's again, always supervised and I prevent um, you know, I put things away, making sure that he can't really get into any too much trouble sure. while he's investigating and just taking his time. And also I'm being very respectful for the animals that I have at home, um, my cats and my and my other dog, and I'm giving them the space that they need. So um, keeping them a little bit separated, doing um, shift, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, I'll have him in his crate for a little bit and the rest of the animals can have their run around the house and then I might put those guys away and just let him out and then take turns alternating a little bit here and there. Trying I'm trying not to overwhelm him too much, you know, really keeping an eye on on what he's able to actually manage and then um, giving him that quiet time too. Um, one of the things I noticed that, uh, especially a border collie, but a lot of puppies are like this, yeah. they, they don't have a self moderator. So they will continue to play themselves too, too hard right. and um, they really do need that sleep time we don't need to be doing a whole lot with them all the time in the yeah. first few weeks so I might have them out and I might you know play play with some toys let them investigate a little bit and then um, you know maybe after an hour or so I put them back in, in, in his crate for a couple hours and, and you know bring him back out totally, and we'll keep yeah. work, um, it's a great way to install like an off switch yes. so that he knows when he goes into his crate or his kennel that it's time that he can relax and you know re recuperate and recover I think that's really important and that's something the mistake one mistake that I made with my um, lab puppy before I was a dog trainer before I really understood it's I gave her uh, complete freedom mm -hmm. and she was harassing our older lab and it was just a really uh, it was an unfair scenario for the other animals in the house so I, I think that's a really important point when instructor Kim talks about her puppy being out of his kennel and supervising him she doesn't just trust it'll make good choices we know that puppies will explore the world with their mouths and and, and get into all sorts of things so even in the first day or the first couple days home uh, instructor Kim got a house line for Levi and if you haven't seen the video where I talk about the house line I'll link it above but tell us a little bit about how you've used the house line with Levi yeah it's a it's a great tool um, it allows him the freedom but also my control so that he can't get into too much trouble if he were to let's say take off with my shoe and run underneath the bed um, I say this because this has actually almost happened um, with with the house line I was actually able to step on it stop him from getting too far and um, just redirect that so so any of that unwanted behavior I can just um, it just stop it right away and it's also great too because um, I, I don't want him it being a herding breed specifically but I, I really don't want him getting in the habit of chasing my cats um, I want them to live very cohesively in the house and respectful of each other and so you know if if they decide that they've had enough and yeah. they, they don't want him in his space the the white line is a really great tool because I can actually stop him from getting to a point where he's really upset my cat. Sure. I want to thank instructor Kim for helping us out today and certainly want to thank little Levi. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. You see that video beside me? That video is all about using a house line and what a powerful training tool it can be. So if you enjoyed this puppy training video, you're definitely going to want to watch that. On that note, I'm Ken, this is instructor Kim, and this is Levi. Happy training!